What is up, YouTube? It's T-Master bringing you guys an MLB How to Make Stubs video. So I've been working a lot on the auction, I guess, community market. I've been working a little bit with the MLB cards, trying to figure it out the best way that I could make stubs. But the way that I've been really working with this is you can go MLB cards, you can go equipment, sponsorships, sponsorships, and stadiums. I really haven't had too much su success on. So me personally, I would avoid these two. Now, equipment, it could be a hit and miss. The best bang for your buck is MLB cards. Now, you guys are wondering, well, I only have like 500 stubs. Well, if I only started out with 300, you guys can too as well. So, from the very beginning, if we want to go filters, now I'm thinking I'll make this like a series kind of deal. For you guys that are just barely starting out, including myself, I still work this even, is 70 to 79 <clears throat> overall. Now, we're not looking for investments, we're just looking for cheap cards. So, you can see right here, we're getting, we got all these variety of prices. So let's just go ahead, go all the way over. You notice the prices are starting to finally come down into the 300 coin range. You guys could go over a little bit further if you have 500 coins and you could potentially snag this guy. So <clears throat> let's do the math on this real fast. So let's just say, this is how I like to price it. I like to go whole numbers. I hate having like 323 up, just up selling by one stub. I personally haven't found much success instead what I like to do is blow the price completely out of the water so this isn't really too overpriced but I would go 330 here instead so we are paying 330 stubs for it so let's say the price is 450 I would undercut that to 440 so now 440 minus 44 stubs 396 so you just made 66 stubs off that now if you do that 10 times that's 960 stubs if you do that a hundred times that is nine thousand, almost ten thousand stubs, etc., etc. So, yes, these are small investments. In fact, we're gonna go ahead, pick this one up right now. So here's one thing. This is something that I kind of got confused at the very beginning: is buying and selling. So we're gonna go ahead and set a buy order of three hundred and thirty stubs. So we're gonna do something like that. Now, if this card, if I don't get a offer, if somebody doesn't buy it for the price that I set it for, then I'll just take it off. The mindset that I have behind this is I want these cards sell I want all my transactions going through within a couple minutes. If they don't, I'm gonna take it down from the auction house. I'm gonna move on to the next card. It's not worth my time waiting for somebody to take five years to give me an offer. So with that being said, it is right now 1125. We'll come back in about 1130, somewhere around there to see if somebody has finally bought it now you'll also see in the top right of the screen you'll get a little notification saying your offer or whatever blah 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 has been completed that's when you know then you can back out you can go into completed offers you can make sure and then you can go back to that card this is where that little notebook comes in handy or phone whatever you type in the name and then you go and you sell it so for example i don't have i know i don't have any of these cards but say i had this card and the buy now price is 580 so if you wanted to undercut it you'd actually go over to hit sell you click sell <clears throat> then you create a sell order but obviously i don't have one so if i was to go create sell order let's say it's 580 i'm gonna undercut that by and go 560 it's gonna say you don't have the you have insufficient item whatever the word is yeah insufficient item quantity but then when you hit that sell order it's gonna go over to the buy side it's to me coming from madden it's a little backwards so that's what took me a while to figure out but that's that's how you would create a sell order now this right here isn't too bad actually so let's say 560 minus 56 it's 504 so if you were to buy that for 420 you're making about <clears throat> 84 stubs now that's not a ton actually i think this is a way better deal right here to be honest we're gonna go ahead and buy this right now we're gonna go ahead and go over to buy but nonetheless 100 stubs adds up over time so Right here, the highest one is 388, so we're gonna upcut that by 4,000, by 400 stubs. We're gonna finalize order. More than likely, these orders are gonna go through pretty quickly. Once that goes through, then you can hop over, you can flip over, you can go to 550, that's 50 stubs. If that other card was to be bought and sold, that's 110 stubs, etc., etc. So even though these are small, small things add up. Now, when you guys are first starting, you are going to probably get a little annoyed that you have to start small and work your way up all the way big if you want to do a no money spent. This is another good deal. Let's say four seven, let's just say 400, that's 360, 270, that's 90 stubs. Go and buy, sell. 
we're going to create a buy now offer. We can go over here. We're going to say we'll, we will buy this card for 270. Wait for somebody to sell that card to us. Hence sell. And then we'll post it on the market for 400 steps from easy 90 steps. Now you guys are like, okay, well, that's going to take forever. Yeah, it kind of will. But if you guys really don't want to spend any money on this game, then this is definitely a way that you can go about doing such. So let's go over to the bigger cards. Now let's go get rid of this filter. Here's how I like to do it. When I start going up to the higher priced cards, I'll just get rid of the overall. You can go down and filter it through like 80 to 85, roughly around there. But it really just limits how much you're going to see. So I just like to get rid of the filter altogether at this point and then just see the whole market. So you got 82 pages. That is a lot. But really, we're going to be sticking pages 1 through about 10-ish, 10, 10, 15 is where we're going to stay. So right here, we got almost 2,000. Now, this can be a little tricky because... That's gonna sell. We're gonna. I would post that for 1,900, and you get 1,710 out of it. Now, if you were to buy this for 1,600, that is 110 stubs. The problem that I have found with doing something like this is oftentimes when you raise the price, somebody's gonna come up and jack it even more, and it's just it's just gonna keep going up. So sometimes these investments can be a little sketchy. But oftentimes it can pay off in the long run. So we're going to go ahead and go over to buy sell. We're going to set a price. Let's just go and create a buy order of 1600 You guys are probably thinking I'm insane. But this is the best way that I found to get transactions rolling quickly. Just completely blow the price out of the water. And then you just wait for it. And then you completely just undercut that. Like you notice, 1967. I'm going to undercut that by 1900 And it'll sell much quicker than those other cards will. So let's see now. Let's just go... See if we can find some more. So right here, 18 to 16, that's a really bad deal. If you were to sell it for 1,800, you're actually gonna be losing about five stubs. So when I'm going through the market and if I'm looking for a good deal, like that isn't, that's still not a good deal. You're making like maybe 20 stubs, let's see, nine. So here's one thing, it's gonna be 9,125 minus <clears throat> 912.5 you have to add in that decimal it's exactly 10 percent it doesn't it then it rounds i believe it rounds up as you can see right here we finally got somebody for a buy order of craig so we're actually gonna go ahead and put that up but right here it is eight two so it'd be eight thousand two hundred thirteen stubs if you were to sell it for that exact price now that is it's not too bad but Realistically, how I would be going is 9100 minus 910. So, 8190, 8, 8,190 stubs. So, while that's not bad for the kind of risk reward that we're putting into it, I personally would avoid that altogether. So, we noticed a card just sold. So, somebody bought or sold us a Craig Stamen for 330. So, here's what we're going to do we're going to go back in. To MLB cards we're gonna filter it down by oops not that we're gonna filter it down by the name and we're gonna type in Craig now I'm still getting used to this little pad on the PlayStation as you can see <laughs> coming over from Xbox so this is way different so Craig Craig Stamen okay I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name wrong you guys can let me know but right here we're gonna go buy sell so we sold him for uh, 330 something like that so Here's what we can do. We can go to create sell order. Now, if you don't want to undercut it all the way, you can go, we'll go to 420. I think that's what we originally said. So we'll set it for 420. More than likely that will sell simply because it undercut everybody by 20 plus stubs. So we're gonna go back out. We're we'll waiting, actually I'm gonna just keep going. We're just gonna keep going. Now, right here, that may seem like a good deal and we're, we're gonna check this out real fast. So again, it's 10,000. 899 steps 10,899 minus 1,089 I think it's like 0.9 yeah 0.9 so that ends up 9,809 steps so right there that's a big boy snipe <laughs> that's something we use in Madden for you guys are wondering a snipe is just a really good deal so right there that's a really solid deal again you notice as you start to work your way up you're getting into better money making profit such as this guy right here now i don't have nine thousand stubs on me unfortunately 
but that is definitely something I pick up. You could, if you were to sell it for ten thousand, even if you were to sell it for ten five, I'd sell it for ten five. Let's see, ten five minus one thousand and fifty. That's still nine thousand four hundred and fifty stubs. So you're making five hundred stubs now. Five hundred stubs adds up a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot over time. So. We're going to keep this going. I'm thinking the series I'm going to be doing is like see how much I can make within 30 minutes. This is kind of an introductory video for you guys wanting to get into the working the uh, community market. I almost said auction house again. But for you guys wanting to work the community market, this is kind of an introductory video for you. So the idea behind this is I'm going to see how much I can make within 30 minutes. I'm going to be posting in the video when those cards do sell as sometimes you got to play the waiting game. Now, if they don't sell within like 20 minutes... Or so then I would if you're still at home or even on the game I suggest get on to the game taking those cards off the mock market Checking their price for example. I'm actually really worried that this guy isn't gonna sell so we're gonna go over to active orders We're gonna go. Let's see Johnny I'm just gonna go Jose Iglesias. So we're gonna go to check you out see if somebody has decided to increase the price so Iglesias Let's check this out Iglesias Jose, so somebody, so our car is still the higher one. You can see right there for selling out of 400. So somebody is going to buy our car or sell us a card for 400 stubs, in which we will turn around and sell that for 500. Hope that makes sense. It's kind of a little, that's a little confusing, but if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask down below in the comment section. Also, think of doing this on a live stream on Twitch. My Twitch will be down below in the description. It's probably gonna be like a once a week thing since I'm working full time, 40 hours a week. So I can't really do this a whole lot. More than likely, I'll be streaming on my days off. But you can see right there, that is still the highest buy. So more than likely, I'll sell. So 10:26. That was eight minutes ago. So I'm gonna keep that on the market until somebody decides to buy. And this guy right here, let's go see Johnny real fast. See if Johnny is going to sell or not. So we're just gonna go by his last name. I think it's Cueto. I don't know. So Johnny Cueto is 271. So somebody decided to up me by one step. So right there, you guys are probably wondering, well, why don't we take off the auction house? Why don't we just up them? Because I'm not really worried about that. I could go ahead and up that guy by 10, to be honest, very, very easily. But for the fact that I'm not like super worried about it, actually, I'm not, I might just do it right now. Let's go Cueto. So 271, so if we sell him for 400 stubs, if we go, let's say 280, <coughs> that is then 80 stubs. So you know what? We're going to go ahead and do that. So we're going to go over to buy order. So this is kind of a little bit of risky stuff, but for the most part, even if you lose out by 20 stubs, for the other cards that you're going to be selling throughout the day, you're going to be making up for it quite easily. So we're going to go ahead and cancel this guy, go back in, MLB cards. And really, I'm just not patient. I want my cards to sell within, I want I want the orders to go through within five minutes at the most. We're gonna go buy sell options. I'm, I, I will buy him for 280 stubs. So 280, 280. So finalize order, that's gonna be order posted. So somebody's then going to sell me one of their cards for 280. The market is, a, the, oh my goodness, coming from Madden, it is much more competitive, I think. Since people are constantly up, undercutting, up, I don't know if upcutting, upselling, what are, not even upselling, but setting the prices is just always changing. This market is an extremely aggressive market, but again, you can see right there, Brian McCann, man, I'm telling you guys, if you have, if you have 9,000 stubs right now, go pick up a Brian McCann and you can make some bank off of that. Now, his contact to righties aren't too bad, but that's about it. His speed sucks. Stealing sucks. Arm strength, not bad. What's his field? Not too bad. What is he? Player card. Let's go check it out real fast. Oh, catcher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's catcher. Uh, not pass. Okay, so let's just keep going. Right there. That's not too bad. Now, I've noticed with Rick Puccello, pretty sure that's how you say it, is oftentimes you can get away with about 1,500. You can usually have somebody sell you their card for 15. And you can always get away with 1800. Now that's this card specifically. So if it's 1800 minus 180, I think that's 1620. Uh, so yeah, if you were to buy that for, that's about 120 stubs. 
We could do that. It's kind of risky, but nonetheless, I'll see if I can find him. I'm pretty sure I've got a completed order for that exact guy. The price I'm talking about. Maybe not. Let's see. Rick Porcello. Okay, so sell. So you see we sold him for seventeen twenty. Uh, where'd you, so we bought him for fifteen ten. Now you notice we've been working off Rick Porcello. So there are cards out there that I think are more popular than others. So let's just go to Rick real fast. Porcello. Rick. So somebody already put a card up for or put an order up for fifteen hundred. So we're gonna wait for that card to sell or. Better yet, what we can do is we can go into buy sell. We can jump on that bandwagon, create a buy order of fifteen hundred, of fifteen stubs. Yeah, nobody's gonna buy that. We go ahead, and create that. So now there's two orders. There's two orders for fifteen hundred. So somebody more than likely will sell both of the, will fill both of those orders for fifteen. And then what you can do right immediately, I can't tell. You, let me emphasize this. Emphasize this. Emphasis. What the heck? immediately turn around and put them on the market you can't wait now there are sometimes like with any kind of sports game whether it be nba i don't know how nhl works but nba 2k um madden nfl it will be there's there will be fluctuations in the market and of course prices will change especially during the more active portion of the day which is more towards the evening when you got all the people off of work all the kids home from school Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. So if you really want to work the market when it's a busy time, right now it's 11:30, almost 12 o'clock in the afternoon, and at this point in the day, it's not a super active market. While you can make profit, like right there, if you would have 5,300, probably I'd say 5,400. See 6,300 minus 630, so that's about 270 stubs in profit. Again, we just need to build our coin stubs up, and we will be golden. So let's just keep going. 15. We, we're waiting on that card to get bought or somebody to sell us that card so we can make some profit there. Um, uh, where was he? There's one guy that's been fluctuating a lot. I can't find him right now. I got I don't remember his name to be honest. But there's you'll find yourself oftentimes in a fluctuating market. So let's just see if we can get some more going. So that you could, uh, I wouldn't. Never mind. I would not buy that. That's a bad deal. So, so then right here, right here, Dennis, Eck, oh boy, Eckersley, 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 I think, I don't really watch MLB a whole lot, like, yeah, we got a, I think it was a double A team back home, but, yeah, I don't really watch it a whole lot, so you guys can go ahead, <clears throat> let me know how to pronounce all these names down below in the comment section, okay, there we go, Jose Iglesias just completed for 400, so what were you we talking about earlier, we need to immediately jump on that, we need to put him on the market, right away so iglesias we cannot wait because prices are constantly going to change on us so jose iglesias you can see right there 499 we're gonna go into actually i need to make sure how much do you sell for i think it was to 400 didn't it completed orders 400 so we're gonna go back into this we're gonna go quickly iglesias yes perfect eagles so we're gonna go buy sell. We're gonna set a sell price of. You could try 500. It's just I want to undercut this a little bit. 480 minus 48, 432. So that's 32 stubs. I personally would rather get it off of my hands and wait any longer. So we're gonna go ahead and do 480. Finalize. It's going to sell. Not worried. At 32 stubs. Remember that adds up. Over 10, that's 300. Over 100, that's 3,000. A thousand, I think it's at thirty thousand at that point. But it just adds up. Just keep that in mind. This is something that's going to be working in the long run. Short term, you might not see a huge increase, but over the long term phase, you will. I can promise you that. So, continue on. Rick Portillo, you notice fifteen oh one. Somebody just decided to up us by one stud. That's how aggressive this market is. It is insane. I kind of like it though. So let's just keep going. No, 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 no. None of these cards are really too good. Again, it's the middle of the afternoon, so everybody's at work, everybody's at school. Nobody's really online right now. Uh, that might not be too bad. Let's just check it real fast. So let's just say we're gonna sell it. If I always go to the mindset of how much can I sell this for? So 3,100 is probably what I would sell it for, minus 310. So 2,790, so no, not worth my time for that big of amount. I'm not gonna risk that much. So we're gonna go uh, 16. Nope, nope, 
No, no. Okay, let's just keep going. So the price range I'm kind of looking for is about 400 and greater. That's kind of the difference I want to see between the two before I consider it or something like this. So let's just say we're going to sell this card for 1300. I would buy it. So that's going to be 1170. If I was to buy it for 1100, it is the price that I would sell. I would sell for 13. That's only 70 stubs. Again, risk reward. This is a high risk, low reward kind of deal simply because it's just basic economics. You're investing a lot to potentially get little out of now you guys were talking about what well, you did that with the low cards like the 100 yeah because that's a low risk low reward so i'm not really too worried i'm not going to miss out a lot i could easily make 400 stuff back very very quickly so we're going to keep going i'm trying to stick within like 10 pages because when you start to get down to these low 80s the sell now price i believe is 1000 now obviously it's going to change i think card to card i'm not entirely sure but most 80s, the sell price, you notice they all bottom out at 1000 That is because the game simply won't let you go any lower because that is their quick sell price. So keep that in mind when you're working specific cards. Obviously, the higher overall you go, the higher the quick sell price is and the higher you can, or sorry, the lower you can set the sell now and the higher you can set the buy now. So it just all depends. Now, one of the things I'd like to talk about is kind of predicting the market. Now, if you guys pay attention a lot to MLB in real life, unlike myself, which I probably should start, you guys can start to figure out who you should invest in now this is all based on their performance in game and obviously it's going to vary position to position so if you guys are able to keep track of how players are doing in real life then you can predict how the market's going to change now right here catfish hunter that, uh, that's, that's a good name uh let's see 6300 6300 minus 630 5670 that if you have 5300 coins if you had 5400 is what i'd say you can make 270 stubs off of that very easily again cliff lee still there he's still at ten thousand. he's actually going down his sonar price is going down which is really good for us because if we were to have that coin we would i would snag that in a heartbeat and i would sell it for ten thousand steps which right there is about seven uh, seven hundred six ninety five i think is what you'd actually get out of it exactly after the ten percent tax always keep in mind the ten percent tax with that yeah, it can kind of suck. It can kind of suck. I'm not going to lie. Even come from Madden and NFL 19. For you guys that want to enjoy that, i am actually got a few mini schemes going on right now. But from Madden 19, you even have a 10% tax. So that was nothing new to me. I think that I'm not entirely sure what the reasoning is behind that. Because not like the, the developers or any of that get any of the stubs or any of that kind of stuff. But let's just see. <coughs> right here. 2,500. I'm always just, I, I hate... I just despise 2573, like that kind of, I like whole numbers, 2,500, 2,000, 1,100, 800, I like whole numbers because the math is easy to do. So let's just continue on. Of course, you could always undercut these guys by one stub, but I want them to sell fast, not slow. That is the name of the game. Like right there, uh, 4,000, 3,600, 3,400. Yeah, that's not too bad. 200 subs, I'd definitely take that again if I had the coins for it so 17 nope we're gonna pass on that one we're gonna pass on that one because you don't have the stubs again so we're gonna check out these orders real fast we're gonna check out our active orders how long have they been up let's see 41 that's been up five minutes it's been up seven nine fourteen so we're gonna go my we're gonna check out sterling what is marty marty Mar i think he's been up for a while and took him down for a bit so we're gonna check out marty real fast and we're gonna be coming towards the end of this video so marty let's see stirring marty so okay 1630 active orders how much do we have him for 1600 so he's going for 19 seven, so that's 1710 we're gonna go ahead and take this guy down rick porcello we're gonna go ahead and take this guy down again if you guys are looking for a good time to hop onto the auction house like you can see right here this is 400 uh, i'm just trying to actually we can do the math right here first so 480 480 minus 48 oops 480 minus 48 is yeah 432 280 minus 28 is like 230 252 420 is like 380 something so that's well over about 1200 stubs 13 i think maybe upwards toward now about 1200 stubs somewhere around there ish 
but you can see that it does in fact add up i think one of those is a buy so we're looking for somebody to sell this guy to us for 280 so we can actually take this off i'm not gonna worry about that but right there we're gonna be going upwards about 53 uh, 52 about 52 ish somewhere around there 52 ish stubs so nonetheless while it might not be super super huge this is something that can grow and once you get about to the 10,000 mark is where things start to become exponential now of course you can always if you got cards you're waiting for them to sell waiting for somebody to buy them or waiting for your orders to go through in general you can always hop into moments you can always hop into a season game and play some games it's another good way to make some stubs personally i suck badly i'm terrible at this game Let's check out Kyle Hendricks. So 1917, say 15. I think that's right. 17. Yeah, 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 yeah. 190. Yeah, we're gonna buy this guy right now. So we're gonna go buy sell option. That's actually really good. So we're gonna go and buy, create buy order. We're gonna say we'll buy you for 1500. We will buy this from somebody for 1500, and we will sell this for 1900 for a gain of 210 stubs. Now this all depends on how fast this car sells. So of course we want it to sell fast. I've told, the, I've said this many, many times. If these cards are not selling fast, you're gonna pull it off the auction house. You're not gonna wait five hours for this to sell. It's not worth your time, and you're gonna move on. Eventually, you'll find a good deal, such as the Lizard Skins Diamond Sponsorship. So this is actually a pretty solid deal. So 16, that'd be 1440. Let's go buy sell. So. 1600 minus 160 if I can type today 1440 so we could actually here's what we're gonna do we're gonna go and just completely blow this out of the water we're gonna set create buy order I screwed up guys I hit buy now and my coins went down the drain one time I was so ticked so 1200 <coughs> we're gonna finalize the order that should get Somebody should sell it fairly quickly provided there is cards of it out. Now that's kind of where it can get tricky. Is somebody buys this for 1200 within the next 15, well, within the next minute and a half. Then we'll go ahead and flip this for 1600 and gain about 240 stubs. That's kind of where you get into a little bit, a little bit of the big boy ballpark right there. So we're gonna go move, continue on. Nope, we're gonna move on from that. So this is kind of where I was talking about sponsorships. Sponsorships can be good, though they don't sell nearly really as quickly. And you can see you only got three pages of it. You got really don't have much enough much of an option at all. So I like to stick to equipment and MLB cards. Now, of course, stadiums, they're another one, but yeah, obviously they're not gonna be very viable at all as you can see like these cards up through here are quite literally the only ones that be worth your time whatsoever you can keep going over you can notice yeah then you get straight down to just absolute garbage so this kind of stuff is not very worth your time you maybe check out these cards every hour or so but again, the big money is going to be within there. So Craig Stamen, somebody bought him for 378. Perfect. Well, I guess that's kind of a good way to end it, right? <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me for coughing. I'm still getting over a little bit of cold. But that's going to take care of this video. Again, if you guys want me to, if you want to see me doing this live on Twitch, where we can have music going and all this other stuff as well. Oh, hold up, hold up. We're going to end this on a good note. So we notice Kyle Hendricks. Ah, oh, that's a, that's a really good way. So Hendricks, Hendricks, Kyle. I wonder if we do have any Hendricks. Nope, yeah, there's a Kyle, right? Yep. Kyle, Kyle Hendricks. So perfect. We're gonna go ahead and sell this bad boy. Create a sell order. Don't screw yourself over. Nineteen hundred, and that will finally take care of it. Now back to what I was saying. So, if you guys want to actually do a live stream on this. First off, my Twitch will be down below in the description. It has been a long time. I think almost a year or so since I've streamed on Twitch. Now, this isn't going to be like a very huge thing since my main focus is, of course, YouTube. But on my days off, I'm going to try to stream on Twitch. Maybe for a couple hours, play some MLB, maybe play some Madden. Yeah, 
I, we'll see about Madden. <laughs> I'm, I'm not in a very good mindset. To play. I don't. Even, I hate that game. Actually, I'll be honest with you guys. But we'll, we may play some Madden. We probably will play some Madden on stream and get whooped as well. It's gonna be a once a week thing because again, I'm working full time. Probably here in the fall, things are gonna get a little switched up. Of course, it's kind of when baseball starts to die down and Madden starts to take over. So, with that being said, be sure you to go follow my Twitch so, and turn on notifications so you guys wouldn't know when I am live as this is not going to be a daily thing. Hey, good way to end for 1710. Perfect. I just made 200 something, 210 stubs off that bad boy. So yeah, be sure you follow me on Twitch, subscribe on the channel if you guys are new and until next time, this has been T Meister. See ya.